I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. You got the Ortmeier files. They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? We're all quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude... Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. Have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchesi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. My own access card to the White House. Is the roof alarm taken care of? Yes, Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. I'm afraid Uncle has to go now. I'll call you back later, and we can talk all about your party. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Listen up, 47. The President of the United States is about to be assassinated. You'd expect the CIA, FBI, or Secret Service to prevent the assassination, but we can't rely on them. We can't rely on them because the man behind this assassination is the acting Vice President. The same shadowy group that got him appointed to the Vice Presidency wants to put him into the Oval Office. They've got pull at every domestic agency. The assassins are probably already in position, in the White House. Unless you can stop them, the president will almost certainly be assassinated as soon as he returns from Los Angeles. Your targets are the notorious assassin, Mark Parchesi III, and the vice president himself. So here we go, hello and welcome back viewer to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. We're going into the White House. This will be amazing. Hello. Bayard? No. That would be silly now, wouldn't it? Let's just like take a look at the uh, around the perimeter. I think that's the word that I was looking for. All tourists. Can I go there? I think I. This looks like it could, could interact with it. Uh, apparently not. Will I be searched? I will. That's not a problem though, because. Because my my super duper um, sniper rifle is in my bag, uh, rifle case even, and my rifle case is undetectable. Da -da -da -da. Okay, just oh, now I could have dropped them, uh, stored them. I don't know why. Come on, I want I want to store it. Um, 
Okay, let's drop my rifle case for a second. And draw my guns. Can I store them now? I think it's a bug. So we'll just drop them around the floor. Ha! Huh. Hope they won't get found, but they never get found now, do they? Okay, let's do this. Your stuff goes through the machine, you go through the detector. Okay. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Suck on that, guards. Can I go in here? Yes, I can, okay. So the tourists, um, tours. Everyone has a bloody big rifle, and I've captured. Ah. This time I really have to. Wait, 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 wait. No, okay. No, no. I thought it might have been a Mark Pupawa. Pachesi. That's the thing, you know, he looked like, um, very much like Mark Pariah Jr. Uh, a Pachesi and... Uh. They say Teddy Roosevelt won that in a poker game. Okay. Huh. It's quite tricky. Let's see. A lot of visitors are surprised by this exhibit. Okay, so that's the way how you get in. Can I talk to you? No. I can go in here though. Take his outfit. Authorized personnel only. Sorry. Just going to go in the bathroom now. When she returns. You'll be up for an unpleasant surprise. Okay, I have my rifle case, but... What can I do with it? Okay, while we wait, let's look up the map. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're in the east wing. There's a west wing, there's a roof, there's a second floor, there's a... Thing is huge. That may be the vice president. Where is? No, this will be the vice president. Ah! Huh. That's something that bugs me. Bugs me. Um, he screamed. Or rather, you know, he tried to scream. But I, I put a syringe in his bloody neck. Uh, throat even. Throat neck? Whatever. Uh, directly into his his veins, blah blah blah. So it, 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 it should work faster, really. Lobby. Oh, he's not even here. Good, good. Because I really have to go... Let's see what's in here. <sighs> okay, I have to plan this. Um, the stairs are... Through here, okay. But I can get through there too. Where's, where's Mark? Because he'll be on the move all the time. No, he's just here. So I have to go to the... I have to find a way into the main building, first floor. God, that will be that will be complicated, I guess. I'm sure. Who walks there? Oh, just you. Well, <laughs> he scared me. I didn't expect him there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Won't disturb you, sir. Can I take, you know, your uniform or something like here? That would be helpful. 
Maybe in there? Yes, there is one. Can't take it though. So, uh, well, he's in there. Makes sense. Uh, okay, lag. Seriously? You want to start the lag game again? Oh. I'm sure there is a way to get through here. Ah, oh, come on, lag. This is just the inside. You you rendered the, the outside with no problem. But the inside? Be back.